Press the magic button and press the other magic button. There we go, we got sound. Hello, how the devil are you? Um, uh, it's Wednesday night. Hello, it's Hoffman here. Hope you are well and all good. Um, <clears throat> right, let me just do a quick spin out. Uh, shout out to Commander Keen, Daniel Collin, Lars 18th, Rob Smith, uh, Ice Dragon D, uh, uh, Night Shift, Lars 18th, uh, JC 1980, Terrible Fire was there somewhere as well, Zemich, uh, Francis, Nags, DJ Rockenbock, uh, Thalamus, oi oi, um, <clears throat> got a bit of a cold at the minute, <clears throat> I'm fine though, it's all good, um, ah, oh. Hello UK Gamer, <laughs> thanks for that Daniel Collin. You might notice there's another extra button uh, if someone wants to press that. Or not, you don't have to press it. I'm just waiting to see if someone does press it. <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> ruined! <laughs> Absolutely ruined. There you go. That PlayStation uh, video fits really lovely in that box, doesn't it? It's really nice. Uh, I'm glad someone pressed it because, yeah, there's a good reason for that. Uh, I did threaten to do a PlayStation 1 and N64 radio show um, uh, a, few, a little while ago now, a few weeks ago. Um, and although my Twitter account is suspended, uh, I did manage to scroll through um, uh, and find the original post, and I can still see all the replies on it. So, um, <clears throat> so yeah, I've got, uh, I've got, I'm starting to build up that track list. So I can definitely promise you that the next Unstable Radio will be a PlayStation One N64 era DJ set. It's definitely happening. So yes. Um, that is happening. Um, yeah, got loads of tunes. I haven't actually sorted everything else out in terms of... I've just basically got like about 500 tunes on the laptop, so I need to filter through them and see what I, I, I want to play. So, um, yeah, love to, to see you all in there. Um, uh, what did we do last week? Uh, we, uh, oh, yeah, we're trying to draw rectangles. Um, and, um, yeah, it's it's been tricky, uh, to say the least. Um it is working now, though. I finished it. I say I finished it. I'm sure there's probably a couple of edge cases, but I'm able to now draw a single uh, a rectangle and a filled rectangle of <clears throat> any colour I want. So yes, um, and the text writer is now cookie cutting onto that uh, plane as well. You'll see my rectangle soon enough. Don't you worry. <clears throat> How's the speed now? Well, Commander Keen, I put blast processing in. Um, and uh, yeah, I think the biggest box that we draw is the one that's at the bottom and during it doesn't actually get to it So by the time we finish drawing uh, It's kind of a bit of a beam race, but I'll, I'll demonstrate it later um, <coughs> I'll show I'll put the raster debugger color thing on you can see how far it gets uh, uh, <coughs> But yeah, the code is a freaking mess <laughs> Oh my god, it could be so much better. Um, but yeah, we'll talk about that later. But, as we'd like to do here, uh, we're doing something slightly different today in terms of demos. We have the little box of tricks from Japan. We've got the PC Engine out today. Um, I think there aren't that many demos for this, and I think I've got all of them. Um, which is a shame, because it's a great little box. So we're going to do some demos on that. Um, so I think there definitely needs to be more demos for the PC Engine. But I was just like looking through, like we did Spectrum last week, which is always great. I love Spectrum demos. They're probably my favourite of the 8-bit demos, actually. Um, uh, and I was just looking down there thinking, well, the PC Engine's got a bunch, and I've already got them. So <coughs> um, Wild Compo. If I do a demo on a Japanese system, it's got to be a Sharp X68000. Um, so yeah, but <laughs> that's that's by the by. Um, right, uh, I can't actually remember what's on it either. So <clears throat> I want to make a Saturn demo at some point. Seems like a really wacky platform. Ooh, I'd love to know how that's built up actually. Oh, I have no idea. What CPU's in it? 
Is it like a risk? It's a risk, isn't it? That was or power PC, something like that. It's crazy. <clears throat> SH4. I don't know what that is. So, no, that's not the right button. Uh, <clears throat> uh, we're going to start off with this. This might be the best demo. I don't know. Uh. Uh, where I... Uh, Sat is pretty neat stuff in general. It is an absolute... Uh, John Sack. A uh, John T. Sack. Oh, to Sack. Hello. How you doing, mate? Welcome in. First time chatter. Um, <clears throat> right. Let's do this. Let's run a... Uh, let's run a PC Engine demo. If I can remember how to do this. There we go. Right. Let's do it. PC Engine. Up rough sound system. Demo by Uprough. Uh, you can't beat a bit of chippage. Well, no, you can't really. Um, <clears throat> hey, Fritz Faze, uh, Hoover Phonic, welcome in. Uh, we're mucking about with the uh, 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 PC Engine, just watching a few demos. Uh, I'm not sure what we've got here, and I'm not sure what's good. <laughs> um, uh, oh, Cryptia, how you doing, mum? Uh, let's try this. I don't know what this is. I have no idea. So let me just uh, turn it up and let's go. I mean, it's safe to say that there's no music on this. Oh. Okay. This is... Uh, yeah, that's broken, isn't it? So... Uh, <clears throat> there we go. Never mind. Let's pick something else. There we go. Um... Oh, Rose Tinted Spectrum. Thanks for the resub there, mate. How you doing? 
We're just mucking about with uh, some PC Engine. If you have never seen a PC Engine before, uh, there's one there. There's the uh, uh, the glass for uh, size comparison. There you go. Um, and we're just watching a few demos. Um, so let's try this one by Uprof, and I think this one will probably work um, because Uprof are good at making demos for the PC Engine. Sound. Sound. <laughs> nothing much. As usual, when trying to run demos, nothing fucking works, does it? Right. Let's try from the top. Wiggle your wires a bit. Yeah, yeah. There we go. That's had a loop now, that's had a loop. There we go. Uh, where's that? Let me leave that in the background. Hello, welcome in Gwem and uh, Mark SW and Ruscular 3D. Oh, that's a nice name, isn't it? Um, welcome in Raiders, my name's Hoffman. Um, we're going to be doing some game dev pretty shortly, but at the moment we're just having a play uh, with the PC Engine, watching a few demos uh, before we get into the uh, nuts and bolts of Mega Drive game development. Um, love to see you stream earlier, mate. That was, oh, that wave station that I kind of want. One of those one new rack units. Now, I've got anywhere to bloody put the thing, but yeah. Um, <coughs> uh, PC Engine is a great console. If you don't know what it is, like, get to know. The uh, little white ones are actually quite easy to get hold of. And uh, that's, yeah, unless you want to play some of the CD games, it's pretty much all you need. You can never drive, so. Great bits of kit. I love them. Um, right. Tell you what I'll do. I'll do a switch off and uh, uh, a switch on to see if it can uh, work a bit better this time. Can't see it now. Come on. Okay, there we go. Um, Chris Corvell. Let's see. I think he did some like pretty impressive stuff on this. So let's try "Old Is Beautiful" by Chris Corvell, um, and let's see what this looks like. I've no, I can't remember what any of these are like, but I just busted it out because we need some demos on a retro system. <sighs> okay, I've done that. Is is there any sound? We've got no sound again. Or 
Or, or is it just... <coughs> tell gonna... Oh, there we go. Slip now, there we go. We could just fade that out nicely and professionally, like uh, like we know what we're doing. There we go. There we go. That's pretty impressive for a PC engine. That's uh, I'm not sure how those effects are done because it's effectively a tile map system. So, Lord knows. Yeah, that's Luke Brown now. So there we go. Some lovely demos for the PC engine. Let's uh, switch that off. Get some background music on. Right. So. Uh, Please don't look at this code. It is absolutely disgusting. Uh, you can see it. That is great. <coughs> um, so let's just demonstrate where we are now. Looks at this code. <coughs> I'll show you the bit that really annoys me is this here. So when you're doing... Uh, I, I did a bit of blast processing, right? Blast processing. We you know. Us, us normal developers call it our DMA transfer. <coughs> That's the number of instructions that I need to set the source address the DMA transfer so yeah um, rice <coughs> um, yeah what a mess anyway let's have a look and see what we got uh, I mean I could code if it slapped me in the ass <laughs> no worries it doesn't matter okay right so here we go I'm not going to touch anything. You'll see. Oh, it takes its, God, that takes its time now. I have to draw that. Okay. Now watch this. Watch this. Right. Let's make it a bit bigger, shall we? If I 
I can. Look. Oh, ho, ho, ho. go. <clears throat> uh, let's just uh, let it do its thing. Let it loop around again. Speed up a bit. Look! Look at that! I've got the other two rectangles working as well. There we go. Right, do you want to see what that looks like in a VRAM? <laughs> we got wrecked. We got totally wrecked. Yes. <clears throat> Look at that. That is uh <clears throat> That is an inconceivable mess. <laughs> Look how messy that is. It's just yeah. So yeah, that's uh it works. We're happy. So, if you want to see how slow this damn thing is, uh, uh, debug raster, let's put the debug raster on, right? Come on. This takes so long to build. It's unbelievable. Okay. Right, so you can see our see our raster time there, the amount of time we spend per frame. I think I can slow this down a little bit as well. Yeah, there we go. Slow it down. Let's speed it up. Right. Oh, you see that? <laughs> yes, it's quite quick to to quite quick to catch it. But we get down to about here, right? So that's where the V blank interrupt kicks off, and that's when we obviously start drawing like the outer rectangle and clearing the inner rectangle. <clears throat> and it gets down to about here, which I think is fine because this is the place for the this is the only place where the biggest box is, right? The rest of them are all like small and over here and stuff. <clears throat> so the fact that that takes all the way down to there on the raster time, about yeah, about there where the mouse is, is <clears throat> it's it's good enough, right? I don't need to worry about that now. So yeah, uh, crikey, um, uh, Rekt is system hungry, it very much is, um, uh, Jabia Delure, <laughs> I'm saying that wrong aren't I, um, as long as it doesn't kill anything else, and uh, those box, the boxes that get drawn where they expand, they're only, um, they only operate uh, when the game isn't running, right, so, you know, as long as we're drawing them, so we're not actually hitting the the, the drawing at the same time as we're racing the beam, then you won't notice anything. <clears throat> well, if you do, it'll probably only be for like half a frame or something, so. Close enough, I think. Commander King, yeah, should be fine. So, <clears throat> the question is, is what do we do next? Um, and we've got a couple of options here. Uh, I've got it running slow, haven't I? Uh, do I create these background tunes? Uh, not this one in particular. There are some of mine in here, um, but uh, Mark SW, the tunes we've got in the background are all Pro Tracker modules, um, Amiga stuff. So um, I've obviously got a, a bit of a. Oh, no, that's fine. Hello, hello. No, it's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's because uh, the Amiga had a, a wealth of really, really good tunes. Uh, Ice Dragon Deep, we are going nowhere near audio yet. <laughs> <laughs> no way near it. No way. Um, not until. Um, oh, crack it. Yeah, it does. No, that's fine. Um, not until we've got like a good portion of the game running, right? Um, so we've got two options, I think, at the moment. We could deal with the head up display that's supposed to be at the bottom. <clears throat> you know, yeah, I know. Uh, let's look at the Amiga version quickly. Uh, boom. Uh, Ami Gear, there we go. Hit a five on that. Let's see. Come on. Make a version's better. 
Right, so we are missing this down here, right? So I'm half tempted to, uh, it's the HUD at the bottom. I'm half tempted to do that, but the other thing that we haven't got, right? If I can remember how to start the game. Oh, we can do it fixing that. Oh, we can reinstate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get on with it, mate. <clears throat> so there's that. The other thing that I haven't implemented yet is uh, the pause menu. That should be easy enough, I think, actually. Uh... Weapon select and equipment select. So, I tell you what we'll do. We'll do a poll, right? Because that's always the sensible thing to do. So, uh, what next? HUD. Uh, menus. Uh, there we go. Done. Right, let's shut that down for a sec. Pull that back up. <clears throat> and you lot can decide what we do next. Or what we at least have a look at today. <laughs> I think the HUD might be easy. Oh, I see the HUD's coming in. Yeah, all right. So I'm going to break stuff first. Oh, menus. <clears throat> menus also involves um, probably mapping in some extra buttons. Because I haven't got enough buttons at the minute. But that's not a problem. We can do that. I think the HUD's going to win unless someone else changes their mind. God, sound rough. Mm -hmm. Oh god, this is why did I do it for two minutes? Like that's not that's far too long. Um, how is everyone anyway? You all right? You good? You had a good week? I had to uh, update this for work. <laughs> Today. Still can't get developer mode uh, instantiated yet, but I'm, I'm on the case. I think this hub's gonna win, isn't it? Right. I gotta tell you though, I forgot how heavy that thing was. Uh, Ice Dragon D. So in terms of audio, this is a good question actually. So in terms of audio, um, I think what I might do is the lighter. Oh, good. Oh, that's good. Um, in terms of PCM, all right. So we're definitely doing the HUD. Okay, that's good. Um, in terms of the PCM. Um, I was thinking just to save myself uh, uh, an absolute nightmare is just to do all of the sound effects as samples like I've got them in the Amiga, right? Nice and simple. Um, I can do that. I've got, I've got all the original 60-bit audio and I can convert them all and then just have the music as purely FM. And then that might be a, a, a good trade-off. I don't know. I haven't, made, I haven't made my mind up yet. So... I'll have to write some test tracks first and see how they get, see how they pan out. So, <clears throat> so that might be a best option. Um, I'm not bothered about software mix channels though. Although actually, you could do a software mix channel if you want to make it like half as quiet very quickly. Um, but yeah. Um, so we'll have a software mix on the Z80. I suppose you could do that actually. Yeah, because that's doing. Fuck all at the moment, so that's a good point. Yeah, I don't mind Z80, but it's a bit of a pain in the ass, isn't it? Um, I suppose you do plenty of push and pop, you'd be all right. So, anyway, right, so let's I'll tell you what we'll do just to uh, give ourselves a, a, a little refresher, right? So, come on, come on, run, 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 run. Okay, 
slightly again. Come on. Okay, let's just get a screenshot of that so I can remember what it actually bloody looks like. <coughs> now. Ah, and actually, I'll tell you what we'll also do. I think, oh, that's when you're here. I can't do that in there. <coughs> um, can I do that line? Uh, screenshot. Uh, I should do a quick screenshot. I want to make sure I've got the pixels right on this. Uh, Christ, how do you do that now? Output. Uh, save screenshot. <coughs> Where's it put that? In shots. <coughs> uh, <laughs> has it? <coughs> it's not put it in there. Hey, uh, hey, Ren, how you doing? Uh, more wrecks. Oh, no, yeah, but the thing is, we've got a routine to do it now, so that's fine. Or how fast? Okay, yeah. Uh, right. The thing is, the, the Amiga version of Metal Gear has only got one channel of sound effects anyway, so... <clears throat> and then it uses three slash four channels for the music, so that's fine. Um, let's just save as desktop capture.png. And I just want to open that in GIMP quickly. I want to check a couple of things. I've got how long this is. Uh, you either need to add clamp or maybe even not add clamp, yeah. The sound effects engine in um, uh, Seekanoid doesn't have clamping. <coughs> it, uh, is it halves? No, it quarters all the samples and then adds them all together. Um, so yeah, it's pretty quiet, but actually works really fine. Ah, here we go. Right, let's have a quick look in here then. So, oh, you could do with the pixel, please. Thank you. No. Jesus Christ. I don't know. See, this is where I get to the point where I don't know how to use graphics programs, do I? Oh, that is... Okay, that's a nightmare. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend the bitmap layer out, right? Is that a good idea? That's going to be the easiest thing to do because of all the rectangles that are drawn down there, right? Um, um, so I think that might be the best option, right? So, <clears throat> that creates us an issue already. Because what I've done is I've done a very silly thing indeed, right? So you see tiles X here, this constant. Uh, that um, is used in two places and it's not supposed to be. So I've got here text tiles X and text tiles, text tiles Y to add an extra two columns, sorry, an extra two rows at the bottom. <clears throat> so what I need to do is actually just go through the code and now um, change all the places where it's that constant, but not the one that's to do with the top half of the screen. Um, oh, text tile plane. Oh, no, that's fine. Empty tile by... Okay, that's fine. Uh, so, okay, let's try this. Text underscore tiles Y, yep. And then that's text underscore tiles. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all good. Okay, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> right, let's just check where else this is referenced, right? All over the place. <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. Okay, you know. okay uh, here we go. Here's a good point. Uh, text plane tile count. So let's do text underscore tiles X. Text underscore tiles Y. Okay. Text underscore, yeah. Uh, okay. I think that's those done. Okay. <clears throat> hey, uh, N N7, how you doing, mate? Uh, 
Uh, night shift, what you do is you don't have to div to SLR first. L no, you just pre, you pre calc it. So you do that, you pre prep your samples before, and then adding them together. You can do them actually as two long words and just go smash. So you add four samples together with one instruction. So it's pretty bloody uh, quick. So. Gradually on the bend. Oh, that's good to hear that, mate. Good, good, good. <coughs> right, this is going to be completely broken. That's broken as well. Uh, okay, so where else did we use this then? Um, that's fine. Collision, that's fine. Render room, that's fine. Show MDG, that's fine. Check, discover, draw doors. I ain't even drawing the doors yet. That's another thing that we need to consider. And items in the room as well. <clears throat> uh, you watched a video on the mixer Seekanoid uses. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty amazing, if I'm honest. I was very impressed with it. Um... Oh, that's meta tiles, that's fine. That's tiles. Okay, that's fine. We don't need to worry about that. Tiles total. Let me just check who what's that? What is that using? Unpack room. Yeah, fine, okay. Tiles total. Render room, render room. Okay, right. Let's just see if it breaks, right? <clears throat> so we should have text underscore tiles. Okay. In the constant. Double check that in there again. I swear I did it. Dump room. Yeah, that's to do with the room. That's fine. Uh, let's just have I fit a text look up. Text. Look up. Okay, that is there. Okay, the other thing we need to do is the. I know what else I've forgotten. Why have I done that as a uh, two five six? That's interesting. Anyway, uh, text parameters. What's that? Text plane tile count. Okay, right. <laughs> Let's just build it and run, right, and see see what happens. Ready for a crash. Woohoo! Okay. Oh, fucking hell, I know what that is as well. Uh, okay. Uh, I bet that's uh, 416, isn't it? One of these fuckers. Let's just do something here a sec. Can't be anything else, right? It's got to be those. I want that as well. Zero comedies. I'll explain to you in a minute why it's probably crashed like that. It's an absolute ball ache, if I'm honest. Okay, yeah, that's completely broken. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, wow, that looks amazing. Okay. So yeah, we've got a mixture of things that are causing us a problem. <coughs> uh, ooh, uh, one, to, one second to fuck everything up. Yes, exactly. Um, there's a number of reasons why this is problematic. Uh, text writer. Is it the text writer that's causing the problem? Probably. <sighs> Just 
just have to make it a bit slower, I think. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's text right that's causing a problem. Okay, right. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to share with you why this is a uh, raw pain in the ass. Uh, CD slash code slash uh, mega gear. Uh, documents. Actually, no, I'll tell you where it's better. Uh, Sega Mega Drive uh, VDP address. I think that's what we just do that, and it should be. Here we go. So, the problem is <coughs> this is the long word that you have to write to the VDP control, right? And our address, even though it's uh, our address is 16-bit, right? To reach 64k of um, uh, 64k of um, uh, video RAM. So, in a lot of cases, what I do is uh, rather than having to recalculate and shift all these bits around, I just add like uh, a shifted up. Uh, you know, if I'm adding like four to the address, I just I just do that. I just shift it up. Uh, everything's good, right? The problem is, as soon as that clips over uh, into, so what is that? That's, um, how many bits is that? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. <coughs> yeah, so we're locked into 16K. <coughs> if we go over the 16K boundary, <coughs> it basically starts changing these control bits. Um, and then it switches it between read and write, and then the whole thing explodes, which is a royal pain in the ass. Um, time to stick an an and on an and on that sucker or do you mean an and and or <clears throat> just and after the ad but then the, what about this is this here down here <clears throat> so that's the address bits there, A0 to A7, A8, A13. Two control bits, and then the top, uh, uh, then the top half is down the bottom. <clears throat> Hi, Pyro, how you doing? Can you do stuff yourself? Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, you see now. You see now, Peter, right? Yeah, yeah. What were they thinking? Like, <clears throat> fucking hell. Right. Which causes me a problem because I've now just increased it. I think this was this was going to be a problem anyway at some point, right? It was going to crash it. There was going to be fuck all I could do about it. Um, Christ, it's going to make this even worse, isn't it? Uh, that is going to make this even worse, isn't it? <coughs> Christ. Okay, but thankfully it's just it's just the text printer, right? And the other routines. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we might be able to get away with it on one of them, actually. Or can we? No, I still need to calculate it for that. Yeah, yeah. I haven't worked out. This is like my biggest problem with the VDP at the moment is that address. Would swap help? No, because again, those two bits are in the way. Um. The simplest way to do it is just to keep the address and then just re recalculate it. But um, yeah, what a ball like. Um, right, I'm gonna do a quick BRB because uh, I've run out of beer. Um, it'll be quick this time. The wife's out, so I don't have to make tea. So uh, I'll be back uh, sooner than usual. So bear with.
You have a point there, um, Daniel Collin. I've been thinking about maybe using a lot of ROM for tables for this kind of stuff. Just pre-calc it and then chuck it in the ROM. Um, yeah, it's just dependent on how we actually do that. Uh, we're effectively yeah I don't know um, but the question really is so another option I thought of right which was uh, I don't think it's going to be viable right if we looked at our yeah that is quite a lot more tiles right I think if the height of the tiles Uh, control codes, I suppose you could do that, yeah. Oh, control codes, yeah, that's kind of, yeah, sort of similar but not. So, let me just think about something here, right? So, each block is 32 bytes, right? If you multiply that by 32, okay. That's our height. So if we do a height of 32, then no point in our travel downwards would we actually would we actually uh, cross the barrier, right? Or would we? Uh, it's just plus that, yeah. It's always one kilobyte we're working at, right? So even if that's so that's each column that we're basically stepping through at the moment. Right, but then that gives us another problem, right? So if it's 32 by 32 bytes by 32 columns by 32 rows, we're using half. I mean, that's not that far off. I think we're using about 20 six or twenty odd k and what we're we using then what we're we intending to use I mean this is I mean this is a proper uh, 26 by 32 by 32 so 26 K it's a lot of VRAM to well, we could interleave underneath that though couldn't we so you could space it out and then you oh god that turns into a fucking mess though doesn't it Okay, there's a number of ways that we could solve this. I think the way we're going to solve it today, though, because it's currently really broken, right? <laughs> is uh, is that we uh, just try and get it working, we, even if we have to use a lot of CPU cycles. Because in terms of the box drawing, that's not so bad. The stuff that has to do oaring has to do like the heavy stuff anyway. But the DMA fills, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> That's all good. Right, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I understand. Um, right, so that was uh, 416, which is that one there, right? <clears throat> okay, so how does this work then? So we get a VRAM read. D0 to D1, D0 to D2. <coughs> okay. Okay, so what we could do then, this would fix it. Because uh, D0 gets overwritten straight away, which is fucking annoying. Okay. Uh, got any other data registers free there? Uh, D5, D6, D6 looks free, so, okay, so, um, move dot log word, um, <coughs> okay, so D0 is where we're starting, right, into D6, so that's our, whoops, I mean that's a nice clean register. D zero is actually our address. And D six is where we're gonna we're gonna store it. And we'll just check that it isn't used anywhere. Okay, she's clear. Yes. Okay, that's good. Um okay. 
so that is our VRAM start, basically. <clears throat> so we'll keep that, right? So what we're now going to do is... I'm going to use the quicker version of this, right? Which is VRAM address. D6 to... Uh, <clears throat> Actually, there's no need for that boring though, is there? Oh Christ, this is going to get really complicated. Uh, okay, VRAM address. Okay, move dot long with D6 to D0, D1. Okay, and then move dot long word. D6 to D2, right? And then we'll do a VRAM address of D1. And I want that as a... We do these individually now anyway. Ah ha ha ha! Okay, right. Cool. That's fine. Okay. So I want that as a read. Right. Okay. Move D6 into D1, actually. We just need, okay, and then move that into there. And then actually what we then need to do is add that to D2, right? And we'll have those as both reads. Oh God, this is getting complicated, right? Yeah. D1 and D2 is now our VRAM addresses, which is great. Okay. Get the pixel line, that's all good. Yeah. Set the read mode, yeah, that's good. I think that'll work actually. Do D2, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. We don't have to worry about that because D2 is going to do that. <clears throat> and then we don't need to EOR it again, but. Okay. We don't, we shouldn't need that because that does the flipping of it to say whether it's a read or write. But then all we need to do is uh, add dot w, uh, add q dot w, which is nice, q dot w, four to d6, which is our new VRAM address, right? Um, I mean, it's still gonna be completely broken because there's something else I've, I've, ah! I know what it is. Hang on. Uh, load loop. There we go. There, I knew I'd missed something. And then text tiles. Okay. I just tried. Why does that add plane stride to D1? Oh. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a problem as well, isn't it? No, that's fine. Oh, Christ. This is... Ugh. Francis said, do the Mega Drive. It's a great system. So what do I do? I pick the most complicated fucking thing that you could possibly do on it. It's pain for having so much of the playfield as dynamic characters. Yeah, I know, yeah. Oh! <laughs> okay, that's not too bad. I know I fucked something else up here somewhere. Oh, that is not good. Okay. That's fine. You simulated an Amiga bitmap game on the Mega Drive. Yeah, this is true, you did. Is that Cyrillic? Yeah, it might be. Okay, so we're not we're not far off, right? I know it's 
slow as shit, but that's fine. Okay, so where were we? <clears throat> uh, those eels aren't needed anymore. That's fine. That's obviously junk. So it'll be... Okay, get VRAM address. Yeah, yeah, yeah. D1. Don't even need D2 in that scenario, do we? But anyway. <clears throat> Why is that? It's interesting. And don't blame me for your poor life decisions. Yeah, all right, yeah. I, I can't. I can't blame you for that. This is entirely my own fault. Um... Oh, there we go. That's why. Got it. <coughs> Found it. Okay. Now, this is a lesson to be learnt here, kids. <coughs> Assume you need more constants than you actually use. Ooh! Why is that higher? That's interesting. Still a mess. It's funny, the that one's fine. Card one is in the wrong position because I know why that is. That's a text. Uh, no, that's probably load. Uh, text lookup. Text lookup calc. Let's just double check this. I know it's not this. It's not this. It will be the um, uh, clear tiled plane. That's what it will be. Okay, it's the load loop here. Textiles Y. Textiles X. Oh, that's fine. Plane striders. Uh... Maybe that's the problem. <clears throat> Maybe. That big chunk there is the. Uh... It's just like it's like it's too, it's too high. It's too high, isn't it? So that'll be. Everything's too high. Why is everything suddenly really too high? That's a filler, but not bothered about that. Um, these were these were fine actually, so that's it's not that. Textiles, textiles, X, yeah, textiles, Y. <laughs> I wish you hold to watch the whole stream so you knew what you're trying to do. Um, we're trying to build the uh, where is it? Trying to build the HUD at the bottom, and I'm trying to do it in the most complicated way possible so that I don't have to uh, uh, change a load of the way the drawing code works for down there. Um, basically. Um, okay, it's gonna have to be uh, tiles Y somewhere. 
okay. Dump room, that's fine. Load loop, textiles Y, yep. Textiles Y. Yep. Constants, textiles Y, is that there? Yep. Textiles Y, textiles Y, 26, yep. Uh, meta tiles. Okay, not interested in those. Fix a couple of other things here. Textiles Y. All these blip functions. <clears throat> so line drawing in tiles. Yeah. So basically, we've got like a the whole screen pretty much has got uh, like an entire tile map on it, and um, we're drawing into every single individual tile when we want to draw stuff. It's um, massively over engineered and overly complex. When someone of a sensible persuasion probably would have done something sensible like. I don't know, rewrite the whole thing. <coughs> so, here we go. Here we go, found a couple more spots. There we go. Right, let's see what that looks like. <coughs> Sensible person wouldn't have just like tried to do an exact replica of Metal Gear, they would have just, you know, reskinned it and everything. And now here I am. <coughs> Why make it easy? There's too much sensible in this world. Exactly, Francis. Why? Why? Why take the easy route? Ah! Fucking yes! Right. Okay, we might be in a good position now. Oh, Christ! Why is that? Why are the edges broken on that? Okay, that's close though. We're nearly we're nearly back to the position where we started the stream, right? <laughs> okay, that's to do with the edges. That's interesting. The DMA is working because you're getting the fill down. That's good. That's off. Why is that off by one? Fuck's sake. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, the, all the text is over by one. Ah, oh, fuck it. <clears throat> is that an. You know what, Francis, for that. You'll get this.
the devil are you, Polpo? <laughs> I haven't, I haven't triggered it in ages. Obviously, no one else can trigger it because it's um, what is it? It's uh, it costs uh, one million three hundred thirty-seven thousand channel points. Which um, if anyone ever gets that many, it'd be great. Which means it's it's for me. I get to use it. So Francis made a joke. So. Uh, I had to do it. So anyway, lovely to see you there, mate. I hope you are well. I did see a, a very. You did like a 10-second video of a of a real Gus versus a Pico Gus uh, on YouTube today. Looked really good. Um, ah, yeah. Okay, I know. I know why the edges are wrong. I know why the edges are wrong. It doesn't explain why the uh, other stuff. It's only a short video. Yeah, I did. I. Uh, Oh yeah, I did just posted it today. Yeah, yeah, I did see that. It sounds incredibly. I mean, unless you, unless I didn't. No, I did have it on these speakers. So, mm. yeah, <clears throat> it is. I mean, that is that's top bombing, mate. It's good. Right. So our big problem is our four sixteen, right? So there's one there. Which one's that? Draw the. Okay. Uh, I had to put some rest. Okay. Uh, would I mind sharing this, the name of the song currently playing? You can see it right there. It's by Subby of Mono. Actually, no, you can't see that because uh, there we go. Um, actually, you can't read that either, can you? Uh, it's by Subby of Mono. It's called Space Junkie, released in 1996 on the fantastic label Mono. So, uh, I'll be done. Uh, right, so we've discovered because of the way we're doing this. Um, uh, I might just leave those for the minute and just get on with. Actually, no, because we're going to need to do. Yeah, actually, no, this does need fixing. And these were supposed to be turned into ores anyway. Okay. Uh, just as a temporary hack, let's see if this actually breaks it. Why haven't we got two addresses for that? That seems a bit overkill. Um, anyway, let's run that. Let's just check this. Okay, the edges are back on that. It's the fill that isn't got it. Okay, this is going to be uh, what we'll do is we do to do. This is super dangerous. <clears throat> okay, and then when I come to optimization phase, and we'll do this here as well. Okay, again, to do. <clears throat> this is super dangerous. <clears throat> um, the ultimate question will be really. Is it worth spending the time optimizing it, or will it be fast enough to get us through to the finish line? Which is the real, the real question here, right? I suppose if it crashes, then no. <laughs> so let's see if we get a crash. I should check the other one. Okay, that's still not right, is it? That's interesting. Right, so that is the vert fill. Okay. Fill rec vert, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, fill mask right. There's still gotta be a fucking text something in here somewhere. Hang on, find text underscore tiles. Yep. I oh, know that's right. Tiles underscore, that's what I need to just double check for. Tiles underscore. Nope. 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 Okay, so it's definitely not that. Okay, let's go back to Phil. Phil McCracken. Uh, Phil Rect. Here we go. Phil Rect. Let's get rid of. I'm not bothered about Draw Rect. Draw Rect is working beautifully. It's Phil Rect and it's the ore part. Okay, 
that's interesting. Yeah, that should all be working. DMA fill's obviously working, which is that bit down there. This is the bit that's the problem, that there. Oh, why is that a bastard? There should be nothing wrong with that. Ah! Yeah, fuck's sake. Uh, um, bugger. Okay. That's what we could do, just to like, run that. Even if it is, okay, sound menu, let's just check where that ends up. Oh, we kill it, we kill it anyway. Okay, fuck it, right. <laughs> I know it's broken, I'll fix it later. Uh, so, uh, draw wrecked HUD. Here we go, right. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cheat, right? Draw wrecked HUD. All we're gonna do is uh, draw wrecked HUD. Let's give us a nice function uh, bit up here. Uh, draw wrecked HUD. I said it was finished with uh, rectangles, and then we're doing more of them. I'm such a liar. Um, uh, adjust X Y position on this and pass to draw wrecked. That's all we're gonna do. So on the Amiga version of this. Um, if we just look at the, where's the screen gone? For fuck's sake, where's it gone? Uh, capture? Yeah. So in the Amiga version of this, obviously, uh, what we do is, uh, this whole section up here, uh, is a screen, it's, you know, set up with the copper, so that whole game section is like, it's just on its own, right? It's double buffered and the rest of it. And this section here is its own separate bit plane with its own separate section. So, in my infinite wisdom, I said, why don't I uh, uh, call this, we better double check this actually, Y and X, oh fuck, actually, shit the bed, no way, am I going to get away with this? I think I'm going to get away with this. I think what I've ended up doing, by the look of it, on the Amiga version, was load up the wrong Visual Studio, and I've lost Streamlabs, there we go. Um, was to actually create this draw rect HUD which would subtract the value of the screen size fuck if that's the case that's gonna be amazing okay hang on new window find draw rect HUD <coughs> Fuck me. That's all it does. Oh, we do a push all on that as well. That's horrific. Why would you do that, Ian? Okay. Brilliant. Uh, okay. So, in fact, all we need to do then in this version uh, is go uh, draw wrecked HUD there. Right? Sorry, draw wrecked HUD. Right. We don't even need to do that. We're going to cheat on draw wrecked down here. Just going to place that there. Right. Now let's watch all hell break loose. Cloaked Alien is raiding with a party of 16. How the devil are you, mate? Uh, I did have a little, I did pop in earlier, so you're playing, um, uh, there we go. <laughs> I saw you playing Wolfenstein uh, on a, was it a 386? That crazy thing with the terrible screen. Um, I did pop in, but I was, I was lurking a bit. I was just doing prep.
perfect opportunity to remind you all that the next Unstable Radio will be a PlayStation 1 and N64 era DJ set. Um, so, uh, shut up, it's beautiful. Yeah, it is beautiful, I've got to admit. <laughs> uh, but I did learn it plays a lot better with a mouse. Okay, yes. <laughs> Uh, no, Commander Key, we're not doing PS1 uh, gear, no, no. PS1 gear, you could just run the MSX emulator on the PlayStation, right? It'd be easy. Uh, anyway, welcome in Raiders. Um, uh, if you've not been here before, my name's Hoffman. Um, we're trying to um, uh, rescue the fucking mess that I put the game in uh, by trying to create the head-up display at the bottom. Okay, hang on. <gasps> Fuck! Look at that! That's... That's something. It's not right, but it's something. How wrong is that? Can we pause that fucking thing? A HUD almost, yeah. Missing bottom lines, yeah, yeah. Oh, Christ, did you see that? <laughs> that was a mess. Okay. Um, I don't know what the fucking pause button on this thing is. Uh, there we go. Let's shrink that down. Okay. All right, so actually... I think I've used more space. Are we going to be able to shrink that? I think we've run out of height. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's have a look. No, let's have a look. Whoa, shish. Let's have a look at it. It paints, yeah. So what happens? Uh, why is there not a pause function on this fucking emulator? Um, uh, Notepad++. Plus plus. Come on. I had it open the other day. Uh, find pause. Oh, here we go. No, no, no. That is the SMS. interesting does that mean the MSX has a larger screen resolution than the Mega Drive because it would fucking seem so right let's just have a real Okay, so that's a good question, right? Fuck, man. That is... I didn't think that was going to be a problem. Uh, shit. Shit the bed. Uh, Mega Drive uh, screen resolution. Because there's basically two tiles left. Uh, okay, 320 by 224. 320 by 240 in PAL, okay? Uh, oof. I so said, we're in, pal. Okay, hang on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, MSX resolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Fuck's sake, this is a this bag is shit, isn't it?
256 by 212. Ah, here we go. How is this not fitting then? <clears throat> Think I know why. Let's move on to something else. There we go. Nice. Oh, there we go. Problem solved. <laughs> There's four tile lines underneath that, I think. Maybe it's five. Uh, actually, have I just filled the screen now? Uh, 27... 27 by 32. No, 27 times 8. 216. Nah, no, I've got a few more left. Okay, that's actually a plus 8 on that. Then we get to the end. Okay, so we're saving one. Okay, solved. There we go. I thought there was a. Yes, we go the herd. Yes. Okay. Uh. Okay, we've got a slight issue here. I know I've, I've had this out by one error here already. But that's fine. Uh, what we can also do is do fill, fill McCracken, fill wrecked, wrecked, heard, heard. Fucking hell, she's all over the place. Okay, now I think we can just, again, I think we can hack this one as well, just go fill wrecked, right? Go there, and place that into there, right? Oh my god, if this one. Oh shit, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Right, there we go. If this works, you're going to be very happy. If we get red, it's going to be great. <clears throat> right. Come on, come on. Give me a red bar, give me a red bar. <laughs> oh fuck, that is fucked. <laughs> okay, that's not right. But we know that's not. We, we know we've got errors there. That's fine. Okay. That's enough, though. I mean, it's janky, but yeah, okay. That's the health bar, so that's good. So, um, class. Like that. There we go. TXT class. Text writer HUD. Okay. Looks bad. Cancelling your pre-order. <clears throat> As you say that, I was actually thinking about... Jesus Christ, is that actually... Oh my God, what's that doing? Jesus. Um, that's not supposed to be doing anything. Okay, um, that is, that's such a junk nut. That's, oof. Okay, that's an Amiga char printer. So God knows what that's doing to RAM. Um, probably writing all over the VDP. Okay, uh, so what's text writer doing? Nothing. We don't have one. Okay. We must have... Hang on. Let's have a look at that again. Class. Okay, so that's a Y and an X. Okay. Uh, find a text. Got to be a right over here somewhere, isn't there? Text write a game. Okay, there we go. 
Oh, so why don't we just try and point it at that and see what happens, right? Um, let's delete that code. We don't want that. That's the Namiga text plot. It's absolutely fucking pointless in this scenario. Uh, okay. Get rid of that. And then do find uh, text, uh, text writer game. Let's put that there. Text writer HUD. <coughs> okay, let's just see if that works. <coughs> Again, it might be janky because there's still bugs and stuff with the resizing of the screen today, but. Which I then need to debug, which is going to be pretty hard. But let's see if it, if it prints some text in the HUD, I'm going to be very happy. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> How about that? Oh, bugger me. Job done. Oh, there we go. It's playable now, right? That was almost too easy. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, I'm chuffed with that. That's not that's not bad going. Still want to understand why it's it's. Fucking shifted over by two. Um, oh, clap! Yes. Uh, thank you, Jab. I've got to call you now because I can't. I can't get the second half of that name right. Um, right. Just need to nip to the office for a couple of seconds. Uh, I should be back very shortly. Bear with. So, um, what else are we missing from that HUD then? Uh, see, I'm starting to realise why some of those bugs are appearing. I still don't know why the text is out by like... It's like eight. I don't know. 
Don't know why that is. What's that? Zender! Oh, as soon as you turn up, mate. Um, I got this. As you know, Zender is a regular on the stream. He's released a uh, a demo of Roguecraft. Hello, Ricky. How you doing, mate? Um, so yeah, um, I was waiting for either you or Nivrig to turn up tonight, and I was going to use me. Uh, look, I do it again. Look, there you go. Bam, Ricky. Yes. Uh, yeah, demo of Roguecraft's out. I still haven't had a chance to play it. I've got a preview from uh, uh, the other thing that we, the event we went to, which I still haven't tested out yet. Um, so uh, yeah, go and check out his game. Um, it looks fantastic. Graphics by uh, Henning. Just oh, it looks stunning. Oh. Um, so yeah, go and check his game out. We're throwing some cash. We work on it for fucking ages, um, and he's a top bloke. So there you go. Roadcraft looks so good. You're right, Polpo. It does. It looks amazing. Um, I guess Nottingham is a blur now. It was a blur anyway. <laughs> you know, mate. Oh Christ. It was an absolute mess. Um, uh, so, yeah, I mean, I was thinking maybe I might play uh, a bit of uh, Rogue Declan and that before the stream, but actually what happened was uh, I I thought um, I'd get out of the PC engine and we'd watch some demos instead. So, <coughs> um, uh, where's desktop gone? Uh, so, yeah, as you've just caught us, um, uh, we're currently trying to get the head-up display working. Um, and it's kind of, it's half there. I still don't know how to pause this damn emulator, but, um, where is it? I keep losing this. Uh, desktop. Oh, it was right there. Cap no, that's another logo. <coughs> there we go. Oh, so that's a good point. Why don't we just start the game, right? That's another bit of mess we need to fix. Okay, yeah, it's bl all the text is basically shifted over. Isn't it? Yeah, I wonder why that is. <clears throat> so actually, the only two things we're missing uh, will be all the stuff in the middle to do with call and checkpoint. Uh, the item you've picked up um, and the weapon and the number. Variable width font, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Uh, it's all done. That that works an absolute treat now, even though it's uh, misaligned by what looks to be eight characters, eight pixels now. But, um... <clears throat> and the boxes were all working fine until I decided to add the uh, HUD at the bottom today. So... Big improvement since you last saw it. Yeah, we're getting there. Look... That box works fine for some reason. Some of the other ones don't work so well. Um, looks like the MSX now. All you need is the HUD at the bottom and then it looks like the MSX version. <laughs> Hello mortals, how you doing mate? I hope you are well. <clears throat> when you picked up the ammo, it's good too, yeah, yeah. So if we look, uh, if we look here, Box is looking good. There you go. Look at that. I mean, that font printer is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that. So, there you go. It works now. And I can actually print the text in any colour I want. Um, it's pretty easy to get it to do that, which is good. So, yeah. Uh, Commander Keen, all of the text is shifted right by... Uh, eight pixels, and I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't worked that bit out. I'm not sure why that is. Um, oh, look at that. Text writing menu, text writing game. So actually, there's a load of Amiga code we can delete as well there. Flipping out. Look at that. Just copied all that in there. Pointless. And actually, those two. So let's just tidy this up a little bit a sec. Yeah. There you go. Text writer, everything. Okay, hang on. And then go back a bit. And let's just get rid of that BRA. We don't need that anymore. <coughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, it is one tile. I'm not sure why it is, though. There's another fucking what's that? Jesus Christ, there's a lot of code duplication in this game, isn't there? Uh, we should just actually make sure that that's RTSing, because that's going to be shitty all over RAM. Uh, that's all the stuff we need to do. That's a put MD chance. That's fine. So, maybe it's this. Having a quick look at this. That's fine. Let's look up Y. Let's look up X. So let's try a text writer HUD, right? Uh, actually, let's go back to class. I remember where it said that, right? Because there's going to be something here. Class, text class. Let's follow this back. I'd like to fix this. Uh, Shift out by eight if I can. Yeah, that's enough. A two thousand uh, PSU shenanigans for one night. I'll see if it blows up tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Good luck, man. Nice. No, yeah, that stuff's not for me. Okay. Uh, text writer HUD, which basically is all of the text writer is all in one place now. Okay. Um, Uh, text writer everything. Font pointer. Okay, now actually it's uh, text writer how to text. Got it. Text right. Uh, hard. No, can't fuck it spell. Text writer hard. Checkpoint hard. Text life. Okay. Okay, and that's actually. Oh shit, actually. So text life. So that's a 10 and that's an 8, right? And then on the... That's really interesting. Let's have a look at the image again. I'm going to leave it. Oh, no, that's fine. So that is right. Which means... Uh, you haven't seen the Deserve Roadcraft code. Me trying to meet this deadline was me copying and pasting shit everywhere, yeah. Oh god, the text right on this thing is absolutely horrific, I've got to say. It's not good. It's not good at all. Okay, so... The only thing I can think of it being then... Y pos, uh, X plus Y pos, okay. You do see it, right? MD chart. Aha! Front point. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. D0 is the X pulse. So the D1's the X pulse. The text lookup X. going to do my head in. Uh, um, is that? Come on. 256, 256, 256. I've just, I've over, I've overspent on that. Ah. 
felt textile player. Oh no, that's fine. Okay, now that's right. That's fine. Now that's that's an ad. That's fine. I feel like I'm missing something in here somewhere. Mm. Lord knows. <clears throat> I might have to leave that. I'm not sure what is wrong with that. Okay. We're getting near to 10 o'clock, so... And I usually dr drag on a bit long past that. So I think what we also need to consider next is... <clears throat> is items. Um, and whether we want to move them in as sprites, because that would make life a bit easier down here, wouldn't it? Because I've got a feeling <coughs> that... Uh, let's just check something out a sec. So, let's think about the packet of cigarettes, right? Um, so, uh, draw item HUD. Draw item HUD, okay. Ooh, okay. So yeah, we're gonna need sprites down there because they are misaligned by less than eight, less than one, more than eight pixels, one pixel, whatever. That's our problem. Why is that? Oh, that's a wrecked. Okay, now hang on. Draw item. Draw item hard here, draw rect, okay, yeah, uh, item selected zero here, yeah, out, uh, item gfx x y. Oh god. Uh, okay, now there's uh, still a blit item hard, there we go. A y position, which is offset by two. So yeah, we are going to need to get a uh, sprite down in there. Um, okay, which then begs the question where are the item graphics, right? Um, so that's a really good question. Um, uh, HUD, okay, uh, let on go. Okay, so Blit Item HUD will have <coughs> um, uh, Okay. Let's do that. Blit item. Item GFX XY. There we go. That's what we need to see. So what have we got here? Uh, here we go. <coughs> okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Jesus Christ, come on. VS Code. Aha! This is interesting. Okay, we're going to need to do some graphics conversion. And we might be able to do this quite quickly, actually. So, don't need the mask. We can probably assume, based on the size. So these are basically 16 or 32 across. So actually, that is only, there's still only one sprite in Mega Drive terms. So that's fine. Um, okay, let's just have a quick look at them, shall we? Uh, C slash code slash uh, Ami gear slash items. Right. Uh, nope. Assets slash items. There we go. Okay, so that. Do a, let's just have a look at some binary. I think these are nice. Oh, red alert icon as well. Interesting. Uh, 
let's have a look. I hit cross. Uh, I know they're bitmaps, aren't they? Interleaved as well. So, uh, one, two, three, four. Actually, that's right then. It just looks like shit in here. This old ration. Ooh, that doesn't look right. Okay. Um, <coughs> uh, when I start, started to dig into the code uh, to make a TAS overlay for Open MSX, I found it very interesting how this game works. Uh, so many smart decisions to make sure it was done as compact as possible with 64K of memory. Um, I assume you have a lot less limitations on the Amiga and the Mega Drive. Uh, yeah, the Amiga loads because obviously I said we're going to use one Mega Bram, right? Um, you have to remember that uh, 68,000 code is twice the size of Z80, right? So instantly you've ballooned everything. All the graphics needs masking, so that doubles the size of all of that as well. Um, and then you've got Amiga Audio, which then balloons in size as soon as you start to do it and you want it to sound good. So, uh, yeah, you, it fills up. Hey, TJ Gray, how you doing? I haven't seen you for a little while. Um, so, yeah, in memory, so you have but Vampire MSX, Vampire MSX. The thing you have to remember is that, uh, like the Mega Drive, uh, the MSX has ROM as well, right? So, although it's 128K of ROM, um, that's fully accessible. You don't need to load that off disk. It's just there, right? So, you know, these are all things that they kind of, you know, you weigh them up. You know, there's benefits here and there's drawbacks there. So, um, I've looked at the code. There's some decisions that that code does that are really baffling. Like, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it draws the HUD every single frame, which might explain why it's so freaking slow. So, so that might be why. Um, I don't remember the ration being looking like that. I'm, I, if I remember rightly, I checked through it and I was like, I was look, I because I ported it like to the letter, right? Um, like I was running, like converting the Z80, making sure everything executed in the same order, exactly the same, right? And then I was thinking, uh, no, it doesn't scroll at all. Um, uh, and I was like. Why is it like, because I was having some pretty heavy blit operations to draw the HUD, like all the squares and everything. I was like, why is it drawing everything, like every frame? Like you only need to draw a section of the HUD if the value's changed. So anyway. <clears throat> uh, yeah, but then, you know, you chuck it the Sprite, don't you? Um, all right, I've run out of beer. So uh, give me a sec. This will be super short, all right? Bear with, and then we might see if we can just get some pixels uh, converted. I don't think it's going to take very long, so I'll fire. There we go, see, all sorted. Right, so, this should be dead easy, he says. Oh, well done, Cloaked Alien, yeah, good, good. Um, I, you know, I don't, I do want to be the person that promotes drinking, particularly on a Monday and a Wednesday. At the same time, I don't want to be the person that promotes drinking. Right, so, uh let's do this the easy way then right so 
Uh, right, so that's our source folder. Let's get the C-sharp up. Everything in moderation, including moderation. <sighs> yeah. Uh, okay. So, God, see, this is a right off fucking state as well, isn't it? Okay, um, we don't need any of this stuff anymore, active, because that all that graphics is converted, right? Don't need big sprite yet. All the blocker. God, look at all this stuff here. Right, um, uh, static um, void. Um, convert items. Uh, I actually had to take a few days beer break after my vacation. Oh, God. <laughs> Vector Funk, uh, pixels at dusk. Or thereabouts. <laughs> okay. Um, convert items. Right. So var uh, path source path equals at that. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, var dest path equals at. Um, where are we going to put that? That is going to be uh, mega gear. Uh, assets, new folder, here we go, items, <coughs> oh fucking that's there already, oh, okay, it's filled with crap, okay, uh, okay we can delete that for now, so I just want to, I must have just copied it, it must be including all that graphics already, okay, um, oh shit, I need the folder now. Okay, there we go. Bam. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Uh, uh, var file list. Actually, for each var file name uh, in uh, files. Dot, oh no. Directory. Dot get. Directory. Dot get files. Yeah. Uh, and I want a path, which is source path. And then search pattern, which is star dot bin. Okay. First thing we want to do is if uh, file name, come on, file name dot sort of file name dot contains uh, underscore mask dot right. Then we'll continue. I'll explain why. Uh, file name actually, let's just do this to upper, which I don't think is the case, but let's just be safe, right? Excellent. Yep. Lovely. I like that. That's good. Uh, let's have a look at the folder again. Uh, and the reason we don't want the masks is because we're not blitting them, right? <laughs> There's no way I could live in. Uh, 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 England, I love the pubs way too much. They are good over here, aren't they? Um, a beer break is a, a break where you have a beer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, except I carry on working. So, um, Mega Gear. No, Ami Gear. Uh, assets, items. Right, whoop. So, for, for some reason, I did it this way. Every item on here has also got a mask, so when we're blitting it, we can cookie, cookie cut it out of the scenery and shove it in. But we're gonna do all of these, well, we just convert them to Mega Drive tiles to start with, and then we can work out what the hell we're gonna do with them afterwards. Which means if the file name contains underscore, underscore mask dot, in fact, we can just do that, can't we? Underscore mask dot bin. <laughs> Francis. I mean, I know you're not, but still. Um, I mean, you probably are. I don't know. Probably. Okay. Right. So, let's just... Um, uh, yeah. Skip mask. That's fine. Right. So, now we've got file. So, file, file only. Equals uh, file dot get... No. Um, to be fair, JC, night, night, or Peter, um, we, we, our scrum's pretty good. It's very quick. Uh, 
source, uh, file name, there we go. File name, yep. File new file equals uh, path.combine uh, dest path, uh, come on, file name. Okay, uh, oh, no, there we go, file name, right, okay. So, uh, so how have we done it for other ones? Here we go, font converter, no, not the font converter, not the logo pal. Big sprite. Oh god, you had to do that. Fuck's sake. Okay. Block a sprite. Could I be? Oh, Ian, why did you do all these things in this way? PNG sprite. Okay. Uh, we've got planar to index. Jesus Christ. Fan page, trim sprite. Space left, space right. <laughs> Get nibs. Sprite transpose. Okay. Um, we got a, a planar to nibble. Oh, okay. Okay, that's it. That's what we need. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, and that's got width and height. And so, okay, yeah. Beautiful. I knew I wrote this. <clears throat> uh, Francis knows what he's doing. Uh, unlike a lot of so-called scrum masters who uh, probably never even written code. This is true. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, right. Uh, da -da -da -da, font loot. Yeah. Font convert. Uh, convert items. Okay. Right. So let's go for, uh, let's just do another function here. Static uh, void convert a single item, right? We'll have string source string dest, right? So I don't want to put that inside that loop. It's going to get a bit, um, it's going to get a bit messy. <coughs> so first of all, we need file dot read all bytes source, right? Equals var source planar. Right, equals that. Uh, var nibs equals uh, planar to nibble, which would be source planar, uh, and then width in pixels. Ugh, fuck, okay, um, I have to calculate these, right? Okay, so uh, in width equals 16. Let's just do uh, in height, right? Equals uh, 16, right? And we can assume. Okay, that's width, width, and height. Good, good, good. Uh, oh, yes, you did, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, nothing like uh, directors to ask you to do, uh, and spend loads of uh, time and effort on reports and then never fucking read them. Yeah. That's a bugbear of mine as well. Okay. Um, so that's going to give me nibble straight away. So that's good. Okay. Uh, so all I need to actually work out is the width, right? So let's just... Uh, let's look at the folder, right? Let's search it by size, right? And they're all 1K, right? <laughs> of course they are. And I think it's the... Not the SMG. It's the rocket launcher. Uh, which doesn't, is it there? Landmine, handgun, no, no, no. Uh, fuck's sake. Um, hang on a sec. Let's go back to the, uh, grenade is two. Oh, no, that's the type it is. That's interesting. Uh, rocket. Dot bin. Oh, fucking hell. There's, one of these is longer than the others. Landmine, missile. Silencer, armor. Okay. Let's just double check this. Um, 
missile. Pop it ease. 128 bytes. 128. Everything's 128 bytes. Uh, okay. In which case, I think we're actually done. I oh, know it's the SMG. There we go. <clears throat> I embrace the ideas of Agile, but I find Scrum too ceremonial. You could, of course, pick only the things your org team do. So. <clears throat> Uh, I'm not a huge fan of reports or meetings. No, neither am I. Uh, but sometimes they have to be done. Yeah. Yeah. I think I was explaining today that um, I'd uh, send a very well-crafted email. A grenade is big as well. Okay. Uh, I sent a very well-crafted email uh, only for someone to then email me to, with a call invite so that we could then read my email together online. So... Very, very annoying. <laughs> I know. How annoying is that? Okay, 120, that's 32. Uh, yeah, fuck that noise. Okay. Um... Uh, two, five, uh, being an idiot here. One, two, eight, divided by four, okay, 32. So that'd be, uh, that doesn't seem right either. Why is it under 28? <coughs> um, this is some very strange music to be, uh, com. Um, why can't I add this up then? Because it's 16 across, right? 16 across, which is actually, uh, 5 by 8, which is 2. So that's 2 bytes. Uh, times by 16. Yeah, times by 4. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm there. <laughs> I'm there somewhere. But, uh. Oh, fuck it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I'm about to do. Um. Width equals, uh. Um. Uh. Source dot length. Uh. Equals, uh. 256. 32 out of 16. There we go. No. Ternary, there we go. Okay. Uh, Nando is uh, welcome in. Um, I'm failing. <laughs> I'm not failing. Um, uh, I'm doing uh, Mega Drive development. Although I am in Visual Studio doing C Sharp at the moment, it's a very important part of it. Um, so, hang on. I'm just doing a part of converting graphics basically for the HUD. Uh, in Metal Gear. Okay, um, but what we need to do is call that as well. Right. Give me a break point. Source planar. Read all bytes, yeah. Yeah, 16, height 16. I've got some nibs. Okay, nibs. Okay, yeah, we've got some different colours there. That's looking good. Uh, okay, so that's fine. So actually, then we just need to file dot write all bytes to um, a path which is new file and then nibs. Okay. Right. Uh, dest, sorry, string dest, there we go, yeah, nibs, okay, right, go for it, that was a hack, but sod it, okay, so we should now have a file in Mega Gear, 
in assets, in items. Absolutely fuck all. So what's happened there? Please bear with me a moment whilst I um, uh, just open up, um, uh, open, open repository. Uh, let's go to um, C colon slash code slash army gear. Right, let's go, uh, yep, just select that folder, okay, yeah. Oh. We might be, as you might have realised, I've just overwritten all of the source uh, assets there in my folder. Okay, there we go, select folder. Ah, there we go, right. Um. Uh, 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 hang on a sec. Bear with me one moment. Items there. I don't care. Right. Um, uh, okay, that's got nothing in it. And then Ami Gear. So this, uh, that was a big old mess. Uh, assets, items. Uh, let's get the HXD up. Yeah, that looks. That looks correct. Rasher. That's what that looked like. Okay, yeah, cool, cool. Right, we're back to normal. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Just uh, fucked up completely. Uh, new file is desk path. Desk path uh, is mega gear. Right. So what's wrong with that? Oh, you absolute bastard! Hang on. Let's just double check that again. Right, so what have I done wrong here? Convert items. Ami gear is the source path. Source path dot bin. File name contains mask dot bin. Oh, uh, that's okay. That's why we're picking up mask. That's fine. Uh, dot bin. So that's why we're picking up those. Uh, file only is get file name, which is that. Uh, that's probably wrong. Combine desk path. Oh, no, right, let's just uh, let's run that. Um, <laughs> with uh, uh, no, that's uh, width equals source dot length. Oh fuck, yeah, that's not right, is it? No, source planar. That's okay. That's right. I'm surprised it's not breaking, to be honest. Okay, right, but. Mega gear, source path, okay, yeah. File name, got file name, yeah. Okay, file name is not mask. File name only is a uh, new file path equals. File name, Ami Gear Assets, 
new file, alert icon, Mega Gear! Right, there's a five. And we've got them. Right. Woo! Jeez Louise, that was a mission. Right, let's try and look at those then, shall we? Dev tools. I think YY Char is probably going to be our best option. Okay. Uh, I, uh, open file. <laughs> Everyone loves that sound. Uh, right, not tile sets, uh, items, uh, alert icon. And then switch that to four bits per pixel MSX and Mega Drive. Looks like shit. That doesn't look right. Uh, let's just check something here then. Width. Yeah, that is 16. So, planer to nibble. It does use width pixel and uses height. Just tell me that function uses fucking height. Doesn't use it at all. <laughs> okay. Um. Just open something else quickly. Let's try. Cards uh, there. Ration. Okay. Yeah. Don't know. Don't know. I'm pretty sure I know what's wrong with it, but uh, oh, I can't tell why it's done that. You can't just Yeah, that's a sack of shit. Actually, you can't use that. Right, well, that's one that I'm going to go and work out later on, I think. Um, so... Uh, um, yeah. Okay, I think that'll do us for today, then. Let's do some GitHub shenanigans. Um, yeah, that's not right at all. This I've got some function somewhere that will do the graphics conversion but yeah. uh, that's all good oh commander keen thank you so much mate uh, uh mega keck uh spreckles the dog i've not seen the uh, turbo fire uh superland and phase 101 uh give you commander keen a big old hug will you um uh we did a stream broke shit. We sort of fixed it. Then we did a HUD. Then we didn't convert graphics properly. I think that's a, that's a fair assumption. That's quite loud that music, isn't it? Um, anyway. Um, um, it's good tune this. Um, we need to find something to sign off on. I'm just trying to think what it will be. Um, let's, let's just watch another um, uh, another up for up demo on PC Engine or two. I think that's what we'll do. Um, we ain't we ain't finished yet. Just give us a moment. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's see. Well, let's go up for 14 then, shall we, and see what we get. Um, I think this is going to go start pretty quickly. They tend to start quickly. Right, bear with me. There we go. 
Uh, nope, don't press the buttons. Is Git Kraken considered amongst the guess, uh, best of Git uh, front end? Depends what you like using, really. Um, uh, it's paid for, um, but I really love it. So, but that's just my personal preference. You know, other people could be different. Okay, okay, we're gonna have to be quick with this one because uh, we, uh, uh, let's come back here. Um, okay, that was a date storm uh, uh, a demo, PC engine up rough. Right, hang on, let me, just, uh, let me just do that and let's just do that. Right, we're gonna raise someone different this week. We, we usually go to Charlie Farr, but um, uh, let me just do that. Um, oh yeah, first thanks uh, everyone for tuning in. Um, I'll be back. Not Monday, because um, there was five Mondays uh, last month, so um, you have to wait two weeks for another uh, DJ show. Oh, three weeks, actually. Um, but I'll be back next Wednesday for more of this shenanigans. Um, big ups, everyone. Cloak Alien Vampire, UK uh, Gamer, any 7 Ice Dragon D, Texas Foosballer. Nice to see you there, mate. Uh, Prince Faze, Lars18, Francis, Commander Keen, Cloak Alien. Right, don't go anywhere. Honestly, do not go anywhere uh, because we're going to raid uh, my brother from another mother and you're going to have a party. All right. Right, we're going to go to Bob Cave. Honestly, you're going to have a great time. Don't, don't go to bed. Don't go to bed. Right. You ready? Let's go. <laughs> 